Our judges, our first contestant today, Ms. Kathik Dashayini. Can we give her a round of applause, please? Thank you. Thank you. What did you have yes. for breakfast this morning? Uh, it's the Indian dosa, the pancake. Kind. Wow, yeah. all right. Your mom made it or you made yes, it? Yes, my mom made it. Okay, you have two minutes to prepare. Okay. Starting now, and Mr. Ned will prompt you once you have 10 seconds left. Grown-up child bullying his or her elderly parent. I do not know if I would actually step in because it seems more personal and it seems as if I would be a nuisance to the whole case. To the, I'll be a bigger nuisance than whatever that's already going on. So even though I would like to confront, it really depends on the circumstances. And when it gets physical, that is when I'll definitely step in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A round of applause for Sharafa. <laughs> All right. A very good morning, judges and everyone. Uh, thank you so much for having me this morning for this competition of Impromptu Speaking 2020. Now, my topic for today is actually about aging successfully and aging actively. Now, I don't know. When I first got the topic, I was like, oh my God, no. Because one, I, I just turned 18. I haven't even thought beyond going 25. So, I think another one is that I want to be able to still live a life, you know, being able to go to social functions, being able to live, uh, you know, the luxuries that life has to offer. A round of applause for you. Yeah, good job. So judges, do you need a few seconds to fill up the score sheet? Morning. Good morning. Am I on? Yes. Ah, okay, we can see you now. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jess, and my topic is, are we seeing the death of books? And I would say books should be more and more popular in the future because they're more affordable, more portable, and just easier on the environment and on us as a whole. So, yeah. We won't face the death of books anytime soon. And I do hope that it becomes more popular in the future with everyone. With everyone. So this concludes my speech. Thank you for your help. I was a much better now. <laughs> oh, much better now. But I do think joining these kind of competitions, it's really fun. Even if like I don't win anything, I just like the experience. That's great. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So what, what are your goals for this year or for, for your life? Uh, for university, yes. Great. Okay, so a warm round of applause for Shakya. Yeah. So, um, yet, I really feel that my, especially in my generation, because people prefer to play games, such as in this time of coronavirus, uh, during circuit breaker, uh, when you are just being constricted in your uh, room itself. Shakya. How am I feeling? Now. Uh, as in generally, uh, a bit. A bit nervous, you know, because I'm here in a locked room with, you know, like four Thank judges. A warm round of applause for Dylan. <laughs> you are breaking up. Can you try just saying a few? I love eating Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> so to begin, it all started when I was very little. Uh, as a young boy, I actually read a lot of books, more than I did now. And what I learned was that through the hard copy books, I can actually extract a lot of information. Yeah, good wrong. job. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling Thank now? You. <laughs> <laughs> feeling better. Feeling better. I still no, don't see you. I, don't, I still don't see Brian. Sorry. I don't see Brian. Yeah. I see Brian. I pin him up and he's okay. All right. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, I'm okay. I'm feeling Brian. Yay! Yeah. The turn into short captions on Instagram and Facebook posts. No longer do they have the same intensity or carry the same weight within my heart. No longer do they warm my soul and no longer do I cherish them. Right, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you for sharing with us how books can transport us to another place. I can hear all of you. Okay, Jijun, have you been out of your house recently? <laughs> no. No. Definitely. When was the last time you stepped foot out of your house? <laughs> uh, maybe two weeks. Eric, hey, banana, loser. These are the three number one nicknames that I've been called about when I was in primary school, secondary school. Like, this is not exactly how I say it. It's not exactly part of me, but I still want to help him out. 
because it's all part of human nature anyways. Oh. And to all of you, uh, to all of you being bullied out there, you're not alone. And I get you, I understand you. For the bullies, please, bullying is not right. Everybody has feelings too. And with that, I'll end my speech. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think I messed up a little bit in the body, but I think after that, I tried to pick on a little bit. Oh! You did fine, you did okay. great. It's um, alright. It's yeah. okay. Hey, Elias, uh, have you, are you going to stand there? Is that your the position? Yes, is it clear? Yep. Is it clear, judges? Yes, yes. good. 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 Responsible. Yes, to be not only a responsible Singapore citizen, but also a responsible global citizen that would be a great example for everyone around the world. And last but not least, I think I can make Singapore a better place by being myself. Yes, myself. I am not anyone special, but I am someone who loves to learn. How are you feeling, Elias? Great, great, great. Great, great. yes. Yeah. Okay, Charmaine, over to you. Okay. I'll invite Hao Chen now. All right, do you miss traveling to school? Yes, and a company of friends and teachers there, definitely. Okay. Can't wait for this to be over. Okay, yeah. topic number one. Three ways I can contribute to making Singapore a better place. All right. I also like to be a teacher because I find this is a good way in educating the future generation to gain more knowledge. When people have more knowledge, it will enable them to have better job opportunities and will come out with and will be able to develop more creative solutions for the future Singapore. Yay! Well done. Well Alright, so books, they are I feel like in my opinion they are very magical things. But they in the uh, earlier eras, they are one of the most essential items. Like in the past, there's no internet to search information. When you need something, you have to go to the library. That's it. You can't just uh, whip out your iPhone and just search everything. No, that's not possible. Not I mean, I feel that uh, Prime and Prejudice should be uh, read by 80% of women, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a very important book. Yeah. Wow, we certainly had a blast this morning. You know, it's been such a great battle of talents, you know, listening to the students speaking. I think the judges are going to have a very difficult time deciding on the winners of today's competition. They will leave the room for a short while, all right? The judges will deliberate over the results, okay? Miss Charmaine will now show her beautiful face, all right? And she will remain in this room to dialogue with all you contestants. You can ask her anything you wish. Okay, hello, everyone. How are you feeling now? Uh, good. <laughs> good. Okay. Oh, yeah, more relaxed, nice right? Yeah. Definitely more relaxed. You can um, have a drink. You can, uh, well, you should give yourself a pat on the back because I think all of you did very well. And I know what's most important is that you um, took part, you know? You could have been doing something else, but all of you... Uh, took part in this and I think it takes great courage well um you know whilst waiting I would like to introduce another competition to all of you and this one is um an essay writing competition so uh, if you like how many of you like writing essays <laughs> I'm not uh, bad I'm not bad at it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I don't you can mind. give it a shot. And, um, okay. Now, have you... Yeah. Hey, so, uh, how many of you are going to internship in April? I mean, now. Are, are you in the middle of it? No. Mine will be in 3.2. Graduated. Oh, who's graduated? Oh. Who? Who's that who's graduating? Huh? Yeah, Jijuan. Oh, Jijuan. Oh, congrats, Jijuan. Uh, E-certificate. E-certificate. Um, do you get a, a chance to take a photo? Are you from engineering? Yeah, engineering. Yeah, so do, so no photo with uh, Mr. Wong and all that. No photo yeah, with Tarek. No photo. Graduation is cancelled. Cancelled, huh? Yeah. <laughs> do you think, do you think it, 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 it should be cancelled or do you think it should have been postponed? 
I kind of like the idea of postponement. I don't really like cancellation because I think a lot of students, they really go through a lot through yeah. poly. Yeah, it's three years. It's three years of our hard work. And three yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, your parents would like uh, to see you in the gown and have a photo. <laughs> or maybe your girlfriend or something wants to have a photo of you. But I think that was a safety for everyone because yeah, of the la. virus. Yeah, that's true. Um, hey, how do you all like it? Do you like um, this idea of the online classrooms or do you prefer to be in school? Not gonna lie, I prefer to be in school, but I mean, it can't be helped like they fight at home. But I don't know how conducted the classes are going to be. Mm, mm. I'm very concerned about that, to be honest. Like, if I have questions, then it's gonna be a slow process to get the, to get attention from the teacher. Mm, yeah, because if you email and then you gotta wait for the teacher to reply, right? In yeah. like when the when the group chat is going on, yeah. you can't show your face. And your mm -hmm. mic also has to be muted. So if you mm -hmm. want to ask a question, you have to post it to the conversation. And the post of the conversation, the wait the teacher actually notices it. If the teacher mm -hmm. notices it, then you can talk. So it's going right. to be very awkward. It's not like a real class. I'm still discovering. Oh, still, still like um, looking for your niche, is it? Yeah. Mm. So you're like, so it's like you're still thinking like which, what type of question that you like. Sort of. Like which one I want to specialize in. Mm. Yeah, I think the judges are back. Yes, Shamin, we are yes, all back. Hi. The Hello. judges are back. Oh, the yeah. judges have made the decision. <laughs> May I first invite Miss Spicy to share her comments with us? Spicy. Hello. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Hello. First of all, thank you for waking up so early because I know uh, during this period of time it's tough. Yeah. And yeah, and also, uh, you know, you've not been in school for, the, for about a month now. So waking up on time is going to be a challenge. And also, I think it's really great that you you know, this is this is not something that your tutors force you to do. This is not something where each tutor says, OK, I need a representative from each one in my class to take part in a competition. You, you did this on your own. So I must uh, give you all this credit that uh, despite it, Despite this being not compulsory, uh, you took the effort and you made the effort to, uh, you know, get up early, prepare yourself, whether it was uh, mentally or physically, uh, had good night sleep, etc. Uh, for this, so I, I'm also very impressed by the kind of the quality of uh, your 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 topics and what you shared um, with us. So um, I think some of you were very nervous in the beginning. But as you probably realized, Miss Pauline now uh, was trying very hard to get you all comfortable um, in in the beginning by asking you like how are you how are you did you have breakfast uh, uh, that that was actually her trying to make you all feel comfortable so that when you start your actual uh, three minute presentation uh, you would get into the hang of hang of things, okay, and, and swing of things and all that. So uh, this, is mu this is as much I would say because all of you, although you have very, very different styles in your presentation, um, the, the one thing was very clear that you made an effort uh, to, to put in as much as you could. And given that it was impromptu, that means you had no inkling uh, to what the whole, the topic was going to be, uh, I am very, very impressed. I think if I have to go through that myself, uh, I'm probably very, very nervous. And uh, did anyone tell y'all what was topic number five? No. I'm just curious. No. no? Okay, that was the one that I was actually looking forward to. And I shared this with the judges as well, the other two judges. Number five was something to do with if you were if you were going to be a superhero, what would you be and why or something like that. And I thought that was the fun... <laughs> That was a real, real fun topic, and that we could really sort of see the the the, the creativity uh, uh, from all the the contestants. Okay, so that was a topic that none of you picked, but it's fine. And um, okay, so that's as much I'll say. I don't want to steal the thunder from uh, 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 my boss and uh, my colleague as well. Okay, thanks very much, Pauline. Sandra, please. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, firstly, I would like to say thank you very much for registering for this uh, competition. Uh, since this is not related to any of your topics, so really, to be honest, all of us in the organizing committee were a little bit 
you know, uh, we cross our fingers, wondering how many contestants we're going to get. And uh, thank you very much for sending in your videos because all of you are the shortlisted ones. We had several very, very good uh, speakers, but we, we chose the top 10, the 10 of you. So thank you very much for sending in your videos. And um, this morning's uh, session was really, really exciting. And I think all of us really enjoyed ourselves. We could feel the sense of enthusiasm and a positive energy from all of you. So thank you very much for sharing all your personal stories. I think we are very, very impressed by your personal stories, even by all your um, thoughts, your opinions. And we were really, really impressed. Um, it was a really difficult decision for all of us because, you know, we, we needed to, um, to uh, give prizes for, for each one of you. But we know each one of you are winners in your own way. Because as um, uh, Ms. YC mentioned, all of you all have different styles. And each one of you um, are unique in your own way. But thank you very much for coming today and then waking up so early to, to, to have this, um, just that two to three minutes um, um, sharing with all of us. Um, all of us were really, really impressed. So thank you very much again. May we invite Mr. Vincent to share his comments with us. Mr. Vincent, please. Yeah, thanks, Pauline. Thank so you. all the all the things that I wanted to say have already been said by Sandra and YC, Miss Sandra and Miss YC. Um, but this thing about everyone being a winner is not a cliche statement. This is, I think it's the first time for most of you to take part in, a, in an impromptu speaking competition in this manner. And even for us, the judges, because before this, actually, we were organizing this whole event in a lecture theatre. We were thinking about dinner, getting your burgers, <laughs> where to put your in the <laughs> waiting room, and all those things. And then slowly but surely, this COVID nineteen, unfortunately, the things, uh, uh, you know, developed so uh, negatively, and then we had to think of this. And we almost pulled the plug. So for this, and I'm so glad that we we decided let's let's push on and try this new method. And I'm not sure how y'all feel about it, but I think I had I had a very good time and it's a it's a really a first time experience doing this so we're all winners in that way we've got a new experience now uh mm -hmm. okay so without further ado i just want to say thank you as well to each and every one of, of you um already mentioned by miss sandra and miss yc really sincerely thank you for taking part i i know you have enjoyed it as well but also a big thank you to our team here miss pauline you've heard her voice you've seen her video miss pauline round of applause for her and also miss Miss Charmaine, who entertained you all in the room just a while ago. <laughs> of course, Mr. Ned, Mr. Ned, who has been actually the guy behind all this uh, whole infrastructure of moving from one room to another. A round of applause for Mr. Ned. And also, also of course, Miss Sandra, Miss YC for being part of the judging panel. So I'm going to hand you over back now to Pauline. A round of applause for Sandra and YC. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. Repeat in no order of merit. Ladies and gentlemen, the first commendation prize goes to Mr. Brian Ang Waiter from the School of Business. Yeah, Brian, Mr. Vincent here, yeah, Brian, I tell you, we were very impressed by your, your approach to delivering your message. It was very poetic. It was very sound. And, in, and I like this phrase, my takeaway is death will lead to the birth of something new. That's something very, very philosophical. I would recommend that you maybe take part in the Goy Essay competition as well. Really, congrats. The second commendation prize winner, Jasper Core. Yay! Jasper, this is uh, Miss Sandra here. Miss Sandra Lee, I thought you were very, very enthusiastic in your delivery of the uh, the, the presentation, and uh, what came across was the sincerity and your enthusiasm. So continue being part of the Toast, Toastmasters because I think you have a lot of potential. Well done. Announcing the third commendation prize winner, Katik Dashaini, School of Engineering. Thank you. Dashaini, I like the way you give your personal example and uh, about you know standing, uh, differentiating between physical and verbal abuse. So that's very good. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Announcing the fourth commendation prize winner. The award goes to 
Lim Wei Jun Dillon, School of Design. Yay! Uh, very, very, uh, very, very refreshing. Uh, the the things that you shared about you know the love for books and things like that. Um, I think you have a very strong personality when it comes to the presentations, and I think that is one of the best traits a presenter can have. So please uh, keep up with uh, your your your. You've got a lovely smile as well. So. Please remember that when you do your presentations, maintain that personality because it will really, really go a long way. Okay? Lo Hao Han, School of Engineering. Yay! Oh Han, this is Miss Sandra Lee here. I've seen you in class and I've seen you today in today's competition and I must say I was very, very impressed. Impressed with really the content and I felt that, you know, for somebody who hasn't even seen the topic, you came up with very, very good points. And uh, quoting from, you know, some of the books you've read and all that, I was was really, really impressed. So continue to keep up, keep, uh, keep, up, uh, keep this up. And uh, you have a lot of potential as a good presenter. So good job. Well done, Hohan. The sixth commendation prize winner. The award goes to Mohammad Shakir bin Mohammad Sina, School of Business. Yeah. OK. Um, OK, I like the fact that you, again, uh, I, I look at your the personality and how you were able to sort of share, you know, why, why, um, how, how you learn from, you know, books are actually very or bring you a lot of knowledge and, and things like that. Um, what, one, can I just share one thing with you? Were you not feeling well today? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Okay, uh, okay, yeah. okay. Maybe just to share with you because you kept clearing your throat during the presentation, I mean, mm -hmm. in your speech. So uh, that was a little bit distracting. I'm yeah. not here to, to point out anything no, no, negative, okay? Yeah. But yeah, so that's something that you probably need to take note of when mm -hmm. you're doing your, your presentations. Uh, each of us, we tend to have certain things that we will do uh, that, that can be very, very distracting, okay? So you train of thought. Uh, okay, I like the fact that you were very... Um, you know, you're very personal. I could feel a lot of your emotions when you're sharing the topic about the death of books. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Announcing the seventh commendation commendation winner for this morning's competition, <coughs> Wu Hao Chen, School of Business. Yay! Hao Chen, this is uh, Miss Sandra Lee. I just wanted to comment. Um, actually, we want we. We were very impressed by your enthusiasm and uh, we really need more students like you who want to be teachers because uh, it's not to have students who can identify with what the, the teachers are doing um, in the schools. So thank you for being uh, putting that as one of your aspirations. Um, what came through in your, your presentation was your sincerity. Um, and uh, I think you have a lot of potential. You just have to practice more so that you come across as more confident. Right? Thank you. Second runner, Elias Jamal, son of Abdul Aziz, School of Engineering. Yay! Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, YC and Central chip in anytime. Elias, you did very well. You're a natural public speaker. I think you can take part in debates. You're going to win the debate. <laughs> um, was there any tech word you think that you were using quite often while you were sharing? Um, I don't think so. Maybe I didn't pick up on it. Okay. Okay, just to share that you mentioned the word correct 15 times. Correct? Yeah, so that... It's a very natural thing to do. Some of us will say um or something. So maybe that's one. Again, this is not uh you know it's just for some feedback. Okay, okay. Yeah, but you did very well. So congratulations. Thank okay. you. Announcing first runner up for the impromptu speaking competition. Drum roll! And the award goes to. Yo <laughs> Jit John, School of Engineering. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, Jit John. Thank you. Jit thank you for being very refreshing and also being very honest about how you talked about uh, the fact that you were a bully as well as being a victim of bullying. 
I think you covered that um, and uh, I liked your introduction very much as well. I think at the end of the day, Jidran, what uh, sort of uh, warmed was was the fact that you were very sincere and you were very natural in your presentation. And I think that's an important takeaway for you. Okay, uh, you also have a little bit of sense of humor. Uh, I, I think that's really, really important because that's part of you. So well done. And I think if you continue doing this, uh, for your presentations, you would do really well in life as well. Okay? Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. YC, and congratulations again, Jit Juan. Uh, thanks. So ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the champion of Tomasic Polytechnic in Proper Speaking Competition 2020, Sharapa Maliha Binti Rapids. <laughs> Where are you? We can't see you. Congrats, Sharapah. And congrats, everyone. Good job. Oh I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can see you now. Yeah. So that was what you wished for, right? When you started? Yeah. Oh, the end, you said something like, yeah, you're hoping for this, so... Yeah, how do you feel? Oh, I'm so honored. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I guess everyone can say something, but I'll start by saying that, Sharafa, I like the fact that you have a very, very powerful, strong energy. Um, you were very friendly. You come across as being uh, very bubbly, uh, animated, uh, very natural. So I think you're, uh, again, a natural speaker. So well done. Thank yeah, uh, the rest can add in. Yep. Sharafa, the topic you chose wasn't easy for, for you, I, I, I'm sure. Uh, you know, in fact, for all of you, if you all had chosen that. So I think you did very well about successful and active aging. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what was going through your mind? Because it's impromptu, right? You only had two minutes. Yeah, I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> aging. <laughs> Far away okay. from you. <laughs> okay, you yeah. did well. Uh, congrats, Sheriff. Uh, what came through for me? was your very very strong personality and your sincerity as well uh, it wasn't an easy topic uh, to cover but you did it very very well and I could sense that you were thinking on your feet you know to think of all the different examples uh, that, that you shared with us so so that, that we also took that into account and also what what came through was your very lively um, uh, personality as well and your confidence you know and the fact that you also spoke well so thank you once again and congrats thank you so much thank you thank you judges thank you for your very encouraging and uplifting feedback and thank you very much contestants a warm round of applause for all our contestants again yay congratulations everyone and I can say, all you contestants, you have certainly brought oral presentation to a whole new level in Tomasic Polytechnic. You know, you have all been so courageous to sign up for this competition. And you have demonstrated true grit and exceptional adaptability. And I repeat, exceptional adapta adaptability in the face of this COVID-19 circuit breaker. Can we give our contestants a huge round of applause? Yay! Yay! And before all of you go, can, can we also just uh, uh, join our hands together and uh, thank thank uh, uh, Miss Pauline, the MC, uh, for such a, doing such a good job. Yay, Pauline! And Miss Charmaine also for being there for all of you to see to calm your nerves down. Thank you. And of course, uh, Mr. Ned Lowe, you know, for being in contact with all of you, calling all of you. Thank you, Ned, Pauline, and Charmaine. And of course, most of all, thank you to the judges, Mr. Vincent Bong and uh, Ms. Spicy for being here. As Mr. Vincent Bong mentioned, we were supposed to have this face-to-face. -face. We already had dinners planned for you as hamburgers. We are supposed to have all the LTs all booked already, already. Uh, but we had to um, convert to this uh, format. So thank you once again for... Um, being part of this competition. 
please join your hands together and give everyone a round of applause. Thank you. Well done. And on behalf of the organizing committee comprising of Ms. Charmaine, Mr. Ned and I, we would also like to say a big thank you to our honorable judges for contributing to the success of this morning's event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.